Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're at AES 2019 in New York. You know, one of the great things about this show is not only do you get to see a ton of great gear and they're all kind of academic paper presentations and things, but you're surrounded by experts and extremely knowledgeable people in this field. For example, Jonathan Pines here from Rupert Neve Designs. I'm, in, I'm including you, highly experienced recording engineer, mastering engineer, gear expert, and I thought it'd be interesting to pick some of these people's brains, specifically Jonathan in this case, about certain types of gear and why they might be important for a studio workflow. And in particular, I wanted to talk about recording consoles, because we're seeing a number of consoles here at the show, and of course, Rupert Neve Designs has a 5088, which is an amazing console. But let me ask you a simple question. Why does somebody want a console in their studio? Well, I, one of the really interesting things about it is actually workflow and ease of work. Because you have a situation where you can work on more than one channel at a time, you don't have to page for it, you're staying entirely in a musical endeavor instead of having to step out and be a little bit more in computer land. And I think that's one of the things that drives that whole approach is how easy I can work, can I reach everything I need to reach, can I do more than one thing at the same time? Can I try a balance of this item against this item or the EQ on a snare drum versus is it interfering with my vocal? The fact that you have easy access to all of that stuff and you can do it without looking at it. In other words, you don't have to stare at the surface or stare at a screen. You can do it by touch. You can be engaged in your artist if you're in the recording process. You can look at the artist and be connected with them or look at the band while they're recording and still be functional instead of having to divert the entire right. time. Right, right. And there are so many little things that you don't think about with a console. One of them you mentioned there is that you don't have to stare at a screen while, while you're operating it. What are some of the other advantages besides workflow? Where does it fit into the, the studio? You know, I mean, one of the most obvious ones, of course, is sonic quality. You have something that's class A, that's high voltage, it's transformer isolated. Uh, there's a level of sound quality that I think is still unparalleled with an external console, both not only just for summing, but the fact that you have mic pre's, you have compression, you have EQ, and again, you can interact with them in real time without having to stop, shift out of your creative brain and into your technical brain. It allows you to bridge between those in a huge way, and let's face it, every console we've made is still in service. Okay, that's an important thing. What does that mean? We make these for 50 years of service. A software update isn't gonna put you out of business or is not gonna take overnight to upload and thing. It's gonna work every time you sit down in front of it. And for a lot of working professionals, that's that, that fact alone, that they're never gonna obsolete their console or have downtime from it is really, really important. I think another thing with a console like this, with, with regard to that long-term investment in it, is having it be the centerpiece of your studio and having a, a central piece that you're building around and that you get to know really intimately. So when you sit down, you almost don't have to think about operating it. Yeah, and it's that intuitive aspect of you know where things are, you tend to lay things out on your console a certain way so that you don't need track sheets, you don't have to write notes, you know that your vocals are always here, your kick drum is going to be X plot spot, your keyboard subs or stems are going to be in a certain place, and you can work from a very natural point of view of like, again, okay, we're, we are technical creatures, we are all very technical creatures, but when you can park the technical aspect a little bit and re-immerse yourself in music, you bake, make better music, and the end of the day, that is the most important thing that we can do as creative people. Sure. So, of course, the 5088 and some of the other consoles here are very, I mean, they're aspirational kind of things. We'd all love to own one, but not everyone will be able to, to afford this or some of the other consoles. Can you get the same results with a smaller format console or some of the other uh, devices that are out there? Yes, and we even, in fact, make a 5060. We make, we make a bridge uh, device for this. And it's, it's been fa actually fascinating that almost something like 50% of the people who buy a 5088 end up buying a 5060 for their B room or their home or something so that they can keep that sound and keep that same, same kind of workflow going um, while their studio is booked. And, and you know, to simply answer your question, is yes, there are many ways to work. There is not one way to work anymore. 20 years ago, we'd have this conversation, and I would say, no, you have to have a console. We still feel there are great advantages to having a console. We're surprised at how many we're able to place these days, that it is still a very robust market. There are people at this show adding, you know, there are new consoles at this show. Um, so I think that, that tells you something about the marketplace. But I think that there are spots at, at many tiers in that we all frankly work in a hybrid mode. 
I mean, you made a record last year. I make records all the time. I mean, you've, you made more than one record, but you made your own record last year. We work in a hybrid situation. There is no going back. We're not going back to the old way. I mean, there are, yes, there are vinyl sales. Yes, there are still tape. There are still things, but we generally work in a very hybrid mode. And it's about working efficiently. It's about getting the highest sound quality we possibly can, but it's really about making good music. And you know that from your own work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jonathan, thanks so much for sharing your insights. I mean, a console like this is, it's a beautiful thing, first of all, and just sitting in front of it, you feel that, that passion and you feel that excitement of being in front of a piece of gear that's really going to help you achieve the music that you want to achieve. So it's very exciting. Well, we're thrilled to be here. We love our partnership with Sweetwater. And yes, it's aspirational, but if you live in New York, it's less than the price of a parking space. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Great to see you. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining me here at the Javits Center in New York City. This is AES 2019, and I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.